welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be uh, the updated version of florentino tutorial uh, we made one like last year and now uh, florentino is finally out in clash of titans he has gone through uh, a few patches uh, like uh, three or four uh, changes has been done and now he's not that strong like he used to be very very strong when i made the tutorial but now he's he is strong still but uh, there are some weaknesses uh, which i'll be going over in this video so make sure to watch it till the end and you will learn a lot um yeah so if you guys didn't already know florentino is the hardest titan in the game to play there is no other titan who is even close to as hard as he is to play so uh, yeah with that being said let's get right into the video so the first thing that i'm going to go over is the build arcana and enchantment and then we can go over to the combos and stuff so this is the equipment that uh, i use um this one uh, the the soul detainer uh, actually gives armor and uh, attack damage right so that is why i think it's better and most of the ds laners that you will be facing will have life steal one way or the another even if it's zuka he has life steal from passive it's if it's irish he has life steal from her auto attacks if it's lobu if it's chi or if it's yana I don't know. Yana, does Yana have life steal? I don't think she does. But uh, yeah, you. It's always good to have this item uh, since it gives armor and uh, attack damage. And this uh, is for attack damage, pure attack damage alone. And then uh, uh, this one can be used uh, instead of Omniums because you have to build Florentino tanky. Otherwise, you will die before you can even do anything. Um, because his ultimate has uh, been reworked. He used to be having 50% uh, damage reduction when he uses his ult but they have removed it completely so right now uh, as soon as you go in you will instantly die in the late game so yeah uh, that has become a major issue nowadays uh, for Florentina and that is why you have to build like these tanky items and also this 180 armor from soul detainer okay uh, so I'm back okay uh, so that is why you need to build him a uh, bit tanky. Usually you'd go for uh, Omniums instead of Frostcape and then maybe Moromasa and stuff like that. But if you do that, you have to end the match within 8 minutes or 10 minutes at least. If you go beyond that, you're just going to get instantly shut down by the enemy marksman or mage or any burst damage for that matter. And the, uh, the enchantment, I think this one is the best right now. Uh, better than the one with the lifesteal in the red color. And this one gives better healing effects and shield effects. Um, yeah, and uh, additional resistance and damage reduction when under tower. So this is the enchantment that I use. And I think this is the best one now. And the Arcana is going to be Onslaught Assassinate Skeever in Arena of Valor. And in Clash of Titans, wait, let me get the names. Yeah, Berserker, Assassin and Dragoon. Yeah, it's Onslaught Assassinate and Skeever in Arena of Valor. And Berserker... Uh, Dragoon and Assassin in Clash of Titans. So that's going to be the Arcana. And uh, I, I prefer playing him as a jungler because uh, uh, you'll get a more gold advantage. And Florentino really uh, banks on the gold advantage that he has uh, in order to like snowball the game onto victory and try to end the match as soon as possible. So if you are in the DS lane, you will most probably be staying in the lane and fighting the enemy DS laner and split pushing and stuff like that. But if you are the jungler, you will have your influence all over the map. So for that reason, uh, I am playing him in the jungle. And I would also recommend you guys to play him in the jungle as well. Okay, now let's go over the combos and stuff. So that's going to be the harder part of Florentino. Mm, I'll try my best to make it as simple as possible i have already made that tutorial the combo is the same even if you don't understand the combo in this one you can check out that one because uh, in that i'll be doing a lot of pauses and stuff but still i'll try to do that in this one as well but we'll see yeah okay And I prefer playing uh, Florentino in close, so this is normal, but I usually play him in close uh, because I can see the flowers better. Uh, see what works out best for you guys and you do that. Okay, 
so guys uh, the first ability of florentino drops three flowers okay so this is the first ability and this is like the hardest ability to aim because you'll most probably be missing a lot of flowers and if you miss it just retreat don't even try to fight keep in mind if you miss your first ability just start walking backwards it's not worth fighting after that because you'll surely die okay and can you see my uh, this what do you call this the sword um rapier yeah can you see the rapier it's shining right and you also see here we have enhanced normal attack ps it's written above execute that means our passive is unlocked which means that the next auto attack will have a lot of range did you see how he jumped in see there is a circle around florentino right this is his auto attack normally but when he gets this passive see the circle is bigger which means he can jump on to far farther and farther enemies so that is his passive you get that every 5 seconds after exiting battle so if you fight and then uh, go away after 5 seconds your sword will again uh, glow start glowing and you will be able to use your passive so that is the passive basically and your first ability also these flowers give you the passive so if you get the flower you will unlock the passive uh, here it it looks like i am smoothly going from flower to flower but the thing is it's really hard like jump here and then pick the next flower that's how you guys will be probably doing if you're new um but how in order to like jump to flowers flawlessly like this uh you have to use your movement cursor properly that is the main thing like even before you attack jump on ten pull your movement cursor to the next flower um i'll i'll repeat it once again try to like open your minds and get ready to listen even before i jump on ten i will if you look at my movement cursor it will already be pointing at the next flower so that is how i am able to like quickly jump on to the three flowers okay with that being said uh, let's go to the second ability the second ability has three forms the first one this is uh, just a swipe attack and then uh, this is another attack it also deals uh, true damage it used to have a knock up if you check out my previous uh, florentino tutorial uh, the second ability will stun the enemy and knock them into the air but it no longer does that that's a nerf and the third ability uh, is a double attack yeah yeah so this is the okay um please bear with me and these chicken noises okay so this is the second ability and you have to do the combo and uh, the yeah the popular combo like it goes like this right okay so this is the combo so in order to do that i'll teach you in step by step first uh, this is the basic combo um first use your passive okay first passive jump onto the enemy and then if you use your second ability and pull your movement cursor at the same time it gives you like see i move a bit quicker like yeah see and that happens if you use your second ability and movement cursor at the same time uh pay attention if i only use my second ability i'm not moving i'm just standing at that same place and using my second ability but if i pull my movement cursor see i'm actually moving now and if i use my second ability now i like move quickly right you can use that quick movement to go to the next flower so that is what i'm doing in the combo uh let me show you in, in slow mo use your passive first then come back with your uh, movement cursor and second ability use your flower from this position okay enough chickens please okay if you use your flower from this position the first flower will automatically fall on you so that is the advantage of uh, doing that so jump in pull back and come back use your flower from here the first flower will fall on you you will be able to go in again and then continue the combo so i'll repeat it once again wait for your passive once you get your passive just go in come back and then use your first ability and you can continue the combo okay mm okay i'll go over once again i don't think that should be enough um go in pull your movement cursor and your second ability at the same time use your flower and now you have your passive back go in again and then pull your movement cursor and second ability to the next flower and then go in again pull your second ability and movement cursor to the third flower go in again and final flower so yeah this is how the combo works uh, if you don't understand the combo from watching this video you might want to check out my previous florentino video because i do a lot of slowdowns and i'll be so, uh, showing it i think 
uh, explaining the combo in terms of explaining the combo that video is better uh, i just wanted to make this one because there are a lot of changes so if you don't still don't understand how the combo works check uh, works check out that video and you'll surely understand how it works okay now let's go over to the ultimate uh, the second ability doesn't uh, knock up the enemy so the second form of the second ability this one usually used to knock up before but now it doesn't so that is what you should note and the third ability so the third ability got a, a massive rework okay so usually uh, it's called the, the ability is called gentleman's duel okay it used to be called gentleman's duel i don't know how it is called now let me check so gentleman's invitation okay it, it used to be called gentleman's duel and if you use your second third ability on an enemy except that enemy none of the other four will be able to control you so you will be immune to control from the other four enemies but the enemy that you used your ultimate on he will be able to control you so that was his ultimate before but now they have changed it and the change is no enemies can control you so once you use your ultimate you are completely immune to control like see see uh, it's a super armor right you are completely immune to control for the next five seconds i guess yeah i think it's five seconds let me check yeah for five seconds okay so that is his ultimate now and uh, there is one more good thing as long as you collect flowers uh, you will get more and more seconds so i think you get uh, half a second for each flower wait let me see i don't think it's mentioned here okay uh, it's okay so once you use it uh, you will you can see the bar slowly going down right it is written super armor above his head and there is another bar uh, which is slowly going down and once it is fully down you lose your super armor super armor is nothing but uh, immune to crowd control so it is iron body in uh, aov and super armor in cot okay so coming back if you use your ultimate you get this but then when you collect these flowers see the bar is actually going up every time i collect a flower the bar is actually going up so you can be immune for infinite amount of time as long as you are able to do the combo properly so yeah see i am still immune so that is one plus point but the minus is they took out the 50 percent damage reduction that he used to have and uh, that is what was key for him going into five enemies and killing all of them and getting mega kills and for that he needed that 50 percent damage reduction but since he no longer has that he just dies that's it he'll just go in and uh, two attacks from the enemy mage and the marksman in the late game will be able to take you out so that was really frustrating for me so the tip that i would give you is try to end the matches as soon as possible so if you do that you should be able to win a lot more games never ever try to drag the game like uh, we can fight more let's not end now itself don't do that if you get a chance to end just end it because in the late game you'll know how bad florentino is like you'll be the star the shining star the unstoppable legend you will be the, all that in the early game but once you go to the late game that's it you'll just die instantly you'll just go in and you'll just die i i'll upload a florentino video i think i'll upload the video before i upload the tutorial but uh, if you watch that video, you will see uh, that I regret my choice. Uh, first, I'd be getting a chance to end the match. Flashback. That's it. The match is over. I might try to like stall the match for one more fight. Let's see. But then I won't. And I'll try to like drag the match for content. Mm, yeah, let's get this tower. I don't want to end the now. End the match now. Then, but then things turn out to be really bad. I die. kill 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 everyone kill everyone see florentino is not very strong in the late game like like you can see i'm just dying before i can d even do anything I, a lot and a lot of things happen so never do that guys so yeah once you use your ultimate you get the super armor and then wait let me turn off the cooldown okay uh so you can actually have immunity forever let me get all the items okay now okay Okay, you can see the super armor above my head, right? See, I can actually keep doing the combo and be in super armor forever. Okay, I messed up the combo there. But still, I have the super armor. Okay, so as long as your combo is very fast, you will have the... See, my ultimate is back again and uh, 
I am still having the super armor. So I can just ult again and refresh it. So as long as there are enemies for you to use your combo on, you will have the super armor forever. So that is something good. But it works only until uh, the mid game and in the late game he just falls off completely. Okay, so that's going to be it uh, for this video I guess. Uh, I tried my best to like talk about the combo as well but uh, I don't think it's that effective but the older Florentino video is very good when, in terms of explaining the combo so you can also check it out I'll put the link in the description uh, if you still don't understand the combo you can check it out but uh, the difference between that Florentino and this Florentino is the fact that uh, you don't get super armor and I was going through right uh, those things those are the different ones and that is why I wanted to make this video and yeah uh, if you have any more doubts please leave them in the comments and i'll be so happy to help you um okay so yeah thank you so much for watching guys um you can check out florentino highlights we have like seven highlights in the channel and florentino tutorials and full gameplays and a lot of videos we have on florentino because florentino was literally the first video that i released on my youtube channel and my favorite titan as well Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. I hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.